On today's Kids Corner, this Christmas means the return of the Lizarrado Detective Agency. Uh-uh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, Lucille. It's the perfect case for the Lizarrado Detective Agency. We've got to follow Cole and find out what's going on. Forget it, Liz. This is not the time. <laughs> we are not doing the Lizarrado Detective Agency. Come on. I am putting my foot down. All right. There's just too much to do. <laughs> Bye. You must be right proud of yourselves, figuring out what old Cole Hoyt was up to. Stay tuned. This is crazy. Every year, the same thing. And it never changes. It'll take forever today to get the stuff we need for the Christmas pageants. I know. Oh, and it's not like all these people only had one day to shop either. Especially since the mall started putting up their Christmas decorations, like, right after the 4th of July. Yeah. Oh, Lucille, look at that line of little kids waiting to see Santa Claus. It's huge! Yeah, they'll be in high school before they see him. <laughs> Good one, Lucille. You know what really bothers me? No, Lucille, tell me. What's bothering you? Yeah, that was cute, Lucille. <laughs> What bothers me is that it doesn't get any better. Every year, people are too busy shopping and getting presents instead of remembering that Christmas is about God sending his son Jesus into the world. You got that right. Mm. And this packed out mall is just more proof of that. Oh, more proof of what, partner? Oh, hey, Cole. Hi. I'm just one more person in the mall. Look, we didn't even hear you come up behind us. Yeah, with this big, noisy crowd. Well, Seriously. <laughs> tell you what, it's a tad cozy in here. But it comes in territory Christmas time. Can't escape it. It's a little fact of life here. Everybody's just too busy to think about the real meaning of Christmas anymore. Oh, you can spare me the sermons. I'm not interested. Okay? Come on. Look at all those bulging shopping bags you have there, Cole. Seriously. Yeah? Uh, it looks like you've got dozens of presents there, Cole. And yeah, I didn't know you knew that many lizards to buy presents for. Yeah. What? I didn't know that I, um, I don't. Okay, then, who is all that stuff for? Yeah. It's for... Yeah. It's for me. What? You're buying Christmas presents for yourself? Yeah, sure, why not? This way uh, I'm never disappointed that I didn't get what I wanted. Yeah, there are just so many ways in which that doesn't seem right. Oh? Go on. Well, wouldn't you rather be surprised with what you got? Yeah. You know, uh, let point. me ask you two uh, stellar, intelligent individuals this. Do you ever tell your folks what you'd like, or do you ever make up a Christmas list? Well, yeah, of course, but that's not the... And so where's the surprise in that? Well, you still don't... This way, I'm in complete control. What? I get to ensure my gift list is followed to the letter. But your list must be a mile long, judging from all those bags. Yeah, for sure. You know, Cole, I'd really like to see that list of yours. Yeah. Well, you can't. And why not? I mean, it's not like we'd be spoiling any big surprises because since you're the one doing the Christmas shopping, there aren't any. You know what? Y'all just keep your nosy noses away from my list. Oh, so tell me, Cole, just where exactly did you get the cold hard cash to buy all these presents? Oh, now, Liz, if that place is what I think it is, then cool it, will ya? Looks like you've spent a small fortune there, Cole. Well, look, if you two must know, I got the money from my grandma. Your grandmother. And is your grandmother actually cool with you spending it this way? Let's just say it was her idea. Why are you talking so weird? <laughs> Listen, I'd love to stand here all day chatting with the both of you. Well, no, actually, on second thought, I wouldn't. I don't. And I've got a lot more shopping to do. So if you excuse me, I'll be moseying on. Bye-bye. Bye. Interesting. The suspect denies everything when the heat is on. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can believe that Cole would buy his own Christmas presents. That seems totally like something he would do. Oh, but what doesn't add up is that his grandmother is paying for this huge list of presents. Now why is she encouraging him to do it? Yeah, that is weird. Oh no, look at the time! What? We still have to get all the props for the Christmas pageant and make posters and schedule rehearsals and then make the programs! Oh, there's something more important than all that, Lucille. What? What? Please, not now, Liz. Oh yeah. We just do not have time for that. Oh, isn't it just like a mystery to run right up to you in a crowd and smack you square in the jaw? Uh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, Lucille. It's the perfect case for the Lizarardo Detective Agency. We've got to follow Cole and find out what's going on. Forget it, Liz. This is not the time. <laughs> we are not doing the Lizarardo Detective Agency. Come on. I am putting my foot down. All right. There's just too much to do. <laughs> Bye. Liz, Liz. Hey, wait up. Wait, 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 wait,
what, 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 what? Up ahead, up ahead. Look, look. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh, come on, Liz. We haven't got time for this. Oh, well, well, well. The mystery deepens. Well, what do you mean? Oh, come on, Lucille. Look at what story's coming out of. What kind of detective are you? Oh, happy kitten. <laughs> exactly, happy kitten. Toys and clothes for preschool lizards, which Cole is not. If Cole is buying presents for himself, what's he doing shopping at Happy Kitten? Exactly, that's the question. Mm -hmm. And there is no better time than now to get some answers. <laughs> hey, Cole! No, Cole, wait up! Oh, he sees us. Oh, he's going the other way. Cole, come on, stop! Well, fortunately for us, the crowd is slowing him down a lot. <laughs> Good. Come on, Lucille. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this. Cole, wait! Yeah, we just want to ask you some questions. Come on! You cut it out with the Sherlock Holmes bit. Let me get out of here in peace before I stuff you in a garbage can. Hey, but just a few minutes ago, you told us you were Christmas shopping for presents for yourself. And? Exactly. So tell us, what were you doing in the Happy Kitten store, yeah. huh? Do you have a fascination with pink and coloring books or something like that? Oh, well, what's it to you? You writing a book? So what if we are? Well, we're just curious about what's on your Christmas list. Seriously. All right, look, just stop it, all right? My Christmas list is A, none of your business, and B, oh, none of your business. Oh, come on. Listen, I've got to go, OK? We're done talking about my list. Comprende? Bye-bye. Huh. Now that is curious. I wonder what's so special about the list that Cole has. I don't know, Lucille, but I sure plan to find out. Okay, Spike, get your ears on. Here's a lowdown on Cole. Lay it on me, super sleuth. Fact one, Lucille and I went to the mall yesterday. Whoa, on the day they have their big buck blitz sale? Oh. Who does that? Well, look, we didn't know, okay? Well, that sure explains why the place was packed tighter than a can of sardines. You gotta keep up with the sales, Liz. Really? It's Christmas after all. Dude, you sound like Cole. Now, <laughs> can I please continue? Yes, yes, proceed, detective. Thank you. Fact two, Cole was acting weird and suspicious. Well, he does do that sometimes. Well, yeah, but oh, would you please hush? Fact three, he had enough shopping bags to fill Santa's sleigh twice. <laughs> oh, that lucky wizard. And fact four, his grandmother is apparently supplying the money for everything on his mysterious list. Huh. There's an answer here, but right now it's playing a masterful game of hide and seek. What do you make of all this? I don't know, but I'd love to be Cole with all those presents. Wait, dude, did really? you say Cole's grandmother gave him the money? Well, yeah, that's what Cole said. <laughs> no way. I know, I found that a little hard to believe too. No, Liz, Cole's grandmother, Mrs. Abbott, passed away like a year ago. Wait, Right after really? Christmas, if I remember. So, Cole lied about the money? Seems to be, Mr. Chief Investigator. <laughs> This plot is getting thicker than molasses in January. I'll bet that secret list of coals could cough up some answers. Huh. If only we could lay our eyes on it. Well, then that's what we'll do. And I've got a plan. Oh, with a great plan, you'll become a full-fledged member of the Lizarardo Detective Agency. Okay, okay, so... We go over to Cole's house, and you challenge him to a game of X Monster. Okay. While you two are all wrapped up in the game, I'll excuse myself to the bathroom, which is right next to Cole's room. I'll sneak in, find the list, and take a picture. Oh, oh. piece of cake. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, exactly. Sorry, guys. I uh, don't really feel like playing X Monsters today. Lots of stuff to do. Sorry, gotta go. Uh, hey, 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 wait a second. Huh. Don't, don't close the door on us. It's freezing out here. Oh, come on, Cole. Are you oh. sure you don't want to play X-Monsters? Yeah, who doesn't want to pick off a squadron of X-Monsters with a photon cannon? Yeah. yeah. That would be me. Oh, come on. But you have to play against yeah. Liz. What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on at all. I mean, unless maybe you're afraid I'm going to beat you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of things that can't happen. Well? So then you'll take Liz up on his challenge? It's not much of a challenge, but if it means that much to you to watch Liz get totally destroyed, who am I to stand in your way? <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right, come on. So what level you want to start at? Oh, come on. Let's go directly to expert level, of course. Oh, so you want this to be a real short game, do you? Nah, just long enough to get a good look at your... Huh? Um, oops. Liz, please. Get a good look at what? Um, get a good look at... Um, y your sad y face when you lose. Face. That's what I want to get a look at, is that. Come on, let's just play, all right? You are awkward. 
Come on. Fine, whatever. I'll be the red spacecraft. You're blue. <laughs> I bet you you don't even make it past the first level. Uh, I'll probably make it halfway through the game, my first try. Well, that'll be good. Huh? Uh, nothing. Let's just go, okay? Quit talking. Let's go. Uh, uh, all right. Fine. Wow. You're starting out good, Cole. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, we'll probably be playing this turn for 10 minutes or more, Spike. Oh, nice move, Liz. Uh, yeah, we've got 10 minutes, Spike. Get him, get him! Oh, yes! Spike! Another one goes down, oh, you yeah. Spike! Oh, that was awesome! Spike, give it a rest. There's enough noise already in the room. Huh? I said rest room. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, hey, Cole, can I use the rest room? Yeah, 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 you know where it is. Thanks. <laughs> Be right back. Hold them off, Liz. Yeah, we'll do. Well, it's not going to be a cakewalk finding this secret list in a joint like this. The pig's die is cleaner than this room. Ugh, smells better, too. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this detective talk. Let's see, uh, nothing here. Hey, there's some wrapped up presents on that shelf. I bet the list is up there, too. Uh, did he put them up high enough? Come on, stretch! Whoa! Uh-oh. Bart, I said you could use the restroom, not remodel it. Uh, uh, uh I'm, I'm cool, Cole. Uh, keep, keep playing. Please keep playing. Oh, they're still playing. Oh, yes. I got the list. Okay, now to get out my phone and take a real quick picture. Ah, and we are good to go. Well, it didn't take long to annihilate you, partner. Oh, it didn't, did it? Uh-uh. Um, uh, so, uh, 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 play again? Sure. I think I'd rightly enjoy seeing you crash and burn Good. again. Good, that's excellent. Right after I get something from my room. No! What? Uh, Why not? Uh, Spike's in there. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> of course, of course he's not in your room. I mean, I mean, obviously Spike's in the bathroom. But I ain't going to the bathroom. Well, maybe you should wait for Spike in the bathroom. Maybe I'll just walk down the hallway to my room. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Cole. <laughs> Funny meeting you here in the hallway. It's my house. I'm supposed to be here. What are you doing with that phone? Oh, of this? A f phone? I was just making a phone call. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just a phone call. A phone call? To who? Oh, that's an excellent question. To, uh, the, the pizza place. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ordering a pizza uh, for us. <laughs> what would you like on it? Not to say it was cold outside, but my skin was quickly turning bluer than the lights on a squad car. Why did it have to be so cold on my first stakeout? I was getting impatient, waiting for Spike to send me the picture of Cole's secret list. Then it hit me. Oh, hey, hey, who threw that? <laughs> Sorry, Liz. Oh, man. I saw you standing there talking to yourself, and I had a snowball, and I uh, just couldn't help myself. Lucille, I've got no time for snowballs. Why, what's going on? Spike and I are getting closer to solving the case of the mysterious Christmas list. Oh, so now you've got Spike in on this, too. <laughs> yep, just got here from Cole's house. Spike and I were just there. So where's Spike now? Uh, he went home with a sore stomach. He ate an unexpected pizza. Unexpected pizza? Uh, yeah, long story. But, but, we yeah. got to look at Cole's list. Oh, you what? Well, Spike did anyway and took a picture of it. Well, how did you two ever manage that? Yeah, well, that's another long story. Anyway, I've been pacing back and forth on stakeout while waiting for Spike to remember to send me the picture. Oh, oh, there's Spike's post now. Okay, now let's see. Cole's shopping list. Oh, yes! Now to zoom in. Whoa. What is it, Liz? This is getting more and more peculiar. Why? This is all stuff for little kids. Huh? Uh, toys, clothes, storybooks. And I don't get this last one at all. Look. One long stem red rose. Yeah. I thought seeing this list would finally explain what was going on with Cole. Now I have more questions than answers. Hmm. Oh, dude, look over there. Oh, it's Cole. Walking with bags of presents. <laughs> Come on, let's tail him. I wonder what he's doing with all those presents. This is where the real detective work begins. Okay, Cole is stopping at that house. He's looking around. Oh, quick, quick, get behind the snowbank so he doesn't see us. Oh, Lucille, keep your phone down. Oh, hey, 
don't push. Whoa. Well, all right, well, now what's he doing? Um, he's ringing the doorbell. Yeah. Some guy is answering. Oh. And now Cole is giving that guy one of his bags. Cole is giving away the things he bought? Yeah. Oh, wait, now Cole is on the move again. Come on. How long are we going to follow Cole? <laughs> Until I crack this case wide open. Cole's out of bags now. Oh, curious. After he dropped off the last bag, he headed downtown. Look where he's going now. The flower shop? He's going inside. Come on, we'll wait here across the street. So Cole bought presents, and he's been giving them out to others. Yeah, apparently there's no crime in that. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So, why keep it a secret? Yeah, and why did he lie about his grandmother giving him the money? I don't get it. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh ho ho hold on a minute. The flower shop door is opening, and there's Cole. He's talking to the flower shop owner. And look what Cole has in his hand. One long stem red rose. Uh-oh. Uh, he's turning this way. Oh, no. What should we do? Uh, 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 quick, jump in the trash can like this. Oh, too late. He sees us. Oh. Uh, uh, be casual. Okay. Uh, pretend like we just ran into him on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Cole. Hey, Cole. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Lucille, um, yes. I don't understand. For some strange reason, he's running away. Liz, you're in a trash can. Oh. Hey, Cole. Come on, wait up a minute. Oh, he's turning down that alley. And he's gone. Maybe we can catch up to him. Here, help me out, will uh, ya? Yep. All right, come uh, on. Uh, there, let's go. Uh, Master Detective? Yeah? You got a banana peel on your head? Ow. Stop running, Liz. It's no use. We lost him. All right, let's take a breather. Yeah, okay. Whew, I gotta sit down. <laughs> let's do it over there at that playground. Can you just give the detective agency a rest for a little bit, too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know what, Lucille? What? Even though Cole didn't want to hear about the meaning of Christmas, he sure was showing it to others. Yeah. And to us. Us? Well, yeah. I mean, here Cole is doing acts of kindness and giving stuff to others. And all this time, we've been stressed out about all the things we have to get done before Christmas. Yeah. I've been doing all the work and having all the stress while you have been playing detective. Okay, yes, that's true and a valid criticism. However, we've both been so busy with our own stuff that we forgot that Christmas is about giving. Yeah, you're right. Because after all, God gave us the greatest gift. His son, Jesus, born in the manger. That's it. That's the truth. Hey, Liz, I don't know this street, do you? No. I mean, running after Cole sure gave us a tour of terrain. I've never even seen this old building before. Oh. Abbott's Acres, with this little playground and everything. It looks like some kind of a little kid's daycare. Hey, there's a for sale sign over there. Yeah. Huh. I bet nobody's been around here for a long time. Liz! What? Look what? over here in the doorway, look! It's, it's the, it's the red rose. Do you think Cole left it here? Well, there's a note. Let's look at it. The green below has pain and thorns. The red above is why he was born. Lucille, hmm. I've seen that handwriting before. Really? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, look at this picture on my phone. Here, here, look! <gasps> it's the same as the list. Yeah. Cole wrote this note. Oh. <sighs> Wait, Abbott's Acres. Oh, man, Lucille, I think I finally got this thing figured out. Yeah? Is the Lizarato Detective Agency back on the case? No. All right, tell me what's going on. No more playing detective. This is way more important. I'll explain it to you on the way over to Cole's house. Come on. I cannot believe this. What do you two clowns want? Cole, no fooling around anymore. Seriously, we just wanted to stop by and say thank you. Yeah. Thank me? Yeah. For what? <sighs> For showing us the meaning of Christmas better than we could ever have explained it to you. What are you talking about? <sighs> Look, we... We found the rose you left at the doorway of Abbott's Acres. You... The daycare center your grandmother owned until she passed away? You did what? If you touch one petal off of that flower, I will bury you with so many snowballs you'll be frozen till no, July. No, 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 Cole, Cole, it's not like that at all. You I had promise. no right. No, Cole, well, come we're on. I'm sorry that we stuck our noses in your business. Dude, we are, seriously. Mm -hmm. Look, we know. Your grandma left you the list 
and the money to buy the presents, didn't she? You must be right proud of yourselves, figuring out what old Cole Hoyt was up to. Oh, Cole. I'll have you know that my grandma Abbott gave me the list and the money when she got real sick last year. Said she wouldn't be able to take care of her daycare kids anymore. She made me promise to get them presents. And that was just a nice thing that you did, Cole. Keeping a promise that your grandmother made to those kids. Yeah. Of course. I had to do it for Grandma. Dude, you and your Grandma showed us that doing good for others is way more important than all the busy stuff we get ourselves into at yeah. Christmas time. Your final act of leaving the rose at your grandmother's daycare, that must have been really special for you. Well, maybe not. What do you mean? That, that wasn't what the rose was for. Well, 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 what was it for then? Yeah. It was for me to keep. Wait, you were supposed to keep the rose? Yeah. <sighs> Grandma Abbott said after I was finished giving away the presents to get myself a rose and keep it. Okay. Said it would help me understand what Christmas was about. I didn't, so I left it at the daycare. Oh, the rose was to help you understand the meaning of Christmas. Yeah. Grandma even taught me this little rhyme. The green below has pain and thorns. The, the red, red above, above is why he was born. born. And it makes absolutely no sense to me. Your oh. grandma did so much for so many. She understood that the world is full of sin and sadness. That's the pain and the thorns. Yeah, okay. with the rose and the rhyme, she was showing you the story of Christmas. It's John 3, verse 16. I've seen that written on signs at football games. Yeah. God sent his son, Jesus, uh -huh. on that first Christmas to show us the way to God. Right. One day he would die for the sin of the whole world, and that red is for his blood. That's the meaning of the rose. Yeah. Well, I'm still mad at y'all. Uh, we can understand. understand. We're sorry. You know, Grandma wanted me to do this next year, too, but all that Christmas giving can take a lot out of a fella. What? Going to all the stores. Annoying sales clerks asking me questions, <laughs> lots of packages to cart around in the snow. Not to mention nosy Nellies following me around. Oh, yeah. uh, well, but um... how about this? What say next year, you two help me out with all the Christmas shopping and delivery? <gasps> yes, we'd love you to. Yeah? Yes. yes. That way I can keep my eye on you two and not have you sneaking around. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Lacerda, hiding in a trash can? Seriously? Oh. oh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I, sorry. I can still smell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Awkward. You know, Cole, your grandmother was quite a lady. I wish we'd had the chance to know her. Yeah. She was pretty cool. she come over all the time and play X Monsters with me. Are you serious? Where do you think I got all my mad skills from? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, you all got some time to stick around? Well, dude, Cole, mm -hmm. we'll make the time. Yeah, we sure will. Why don't you come in and play some X Monsters? Oh, yeah. It's been at least what, a few hours since Liz has been totally annihilated by oh, me. Oh, really? Really? Well, you got it, Cole, because oh, yeah? you are going to go. Okay, all right, come okay on. Liz, come on. calm down. Oh. Calm down. Cole, I want to tell you one thing. Huh? Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Cole. You know what? I guess it is.